Now we're tracking the potential future storm. There is a potential that we could be talking about a tropical depression or tropical storm Debbie in the eastern Gulf of Mexico by the end of this weekend. That would kind of be the earliest time frame. Heavy rain is our primary concern here at home. So far, the wind, there's quite a bit of uncertainty as far as what we're going to be tracking and what we could be dealing with because it's going to depend greatly once the system forms. Is it going to try to meander a little bit more to the west or will it truly hug the Gulf Coast? Will it hug the west coast of Florida, then move inland? That actually wouldn't be too, too bad because that gives it more land interaction, less time in the water, less intensification. So there's a lot still up in the air. But this is what we know. Here is Invest 97L, the National Hurricane Center, still giving it 70% chance this is going to be our next depression by this weekend. So that, that chance does continue to increase. The actual core of this system is moving out of Haiti and heading into Cuba. That's a lot of mountainous terrain all the way through western Cuba, especially. So that is going to be quite a bit of land interaction. That really won't let it get any stronger over the next 24 hours as it moves to the west northwest. Here's the thing. Now that it's an invest, we could put more resources into this and our spaghetti plots are trying to drift a good chunk of them right along the Gulf Coast of Florida. Their spread is still just as wide as it has been since this afternoon, but the bulk of them are really trying to hug that eastern coast of not or the eastern portions of the Gulf West Coast of Florida. So that is what we're really going to be tracking as far as where the heart, where the center of that system could go. Again, if it's out here, that takes a lot of the wind impacts away. If it's closer, we could feel a bit more wind here at home, but I think rainfall more than any Anything, whether it develops or not, that is what we're truly going to be dealing with when it comes to our primary concern. So I wanted to take you through Saturday. There's Saturday morning over land, still not a whole lot happening, but then right by Saturday afternoon and evening, it does start to get back into those warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico and starts to drift north all the way through Saturday night, Sunday morning. That is the very beginning of when it has a better potential to make it to a tropical depression status and possibly even a tropical storm. This is where we still have some uncertainty. Is it going to try to drive more towards southwest, drive up Tampa Bay or up to the Nature Coast or Big Bend? Either way, we're talking about rounds of heavy rainfall in a short amount of time. That is why flash flooding is our primary concern as we go through the bulk of Sunday. So a lot of uncertainty that we're still going to iron out for you. The forecast will continue to change as we go into our Friday and eventually into the weekend. But a snapshot of what we're tracking and what we know we're likely going to have a tropical disturbance in the eastern Gulf of Mexico this weekend with rain being our primary concern. Wind still trying to iron out for you along the coast would be where we feel the bulk of it, maybe up to 30 miles per hour. That could change. I think as early as tomorrow, we could maybe get a potential tropical cyclone classification or maybe even a cone that would allow the National Hurricane Center to issue watches and warnings for the coastline, even though nothing's technically developed yet. That just gives us a nice heads up. So stay tuned with us. We've got you updated every single morning, afternoon and evening because we are truly watching the latest here at home.